good evening, everyone. This is Joe Garcia, your host for today's uh, incredible webinar. We're going to get started just in a couple of minutes. You know, if you have some team members that uh, don't know about this uh, webinar, you got give them a call. Get them on this uh, webinar. They're going to be blown away by this uh, technology. And we've got uh, the incredible Dr. Lorenzen, formulator of clustered water. We're going to get started here in just a couple of minutes. Hello, everyone. This is Joe Garcia, Global Ambassador here of NHD Global. It's really an honor and pleasure to host today's uh, incredible webinar. I've got Dr. Lee Lorenzen. Dr. Lee Lorenzen is going to go into his background, uh, and it's a really impressive, incredible background here. And he's going to talk about a product, Cluster X2, that we've had in our product line uh, for a number of years now, and it's now global. I personally have been on this product since 1995, the very first version of this product. I've been consuming it since 1995. And I recognize as a, um, uh, as a person who's always been very concerned over my health and my family's health and how to prevent disease and how to maintain health on, on a daily basis and create the right habits. And I also recognize early on in my life that water was critical. If we don't have water, we don't have life. Think about that. If we don't have water, we don't have life. We don't have water, we don't have life. And Dr. Lorenzen has, uh, and I just toured uh, Peru. We were down there for uh, nine days. Uh, we had incredible sold-out events. And he went on and it reminded me of how powerful this product is. Sometimes when you take something for so long, you take it for granted. And uh, when I saw him up on stage, I go, I got to get Dr. Lorenzen back on a webinar. And yes, this webinar is going to be recorded so he can share why you should take this product. You can share, he can, he's going to also share with you the background of this product and how it was formulated. He's also going to maybe share with you some of the difficulties he's had in the medical community and understanding this technology and, you know, uh, and what he had to go through, you know, from quack science to now he's being vindicated because all the research that's out there on water and clustered water technology. And I'm going to open it up uh, uh, after this webinar. There's a few questions I'm going to ask Dr. Lorenzen, uh, which will encapsulate what this product's all about. So, Dr. Lorenzen, thanks very much for joining us here today. Thanks, Joe, for hosting. Really appreciate it. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to turn this over to you. And uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, this webinar is being recorded. Make sure you take some notes because you're going to be blown away by the information that you're going to be hearing here over the next 30 minutes. So, over to you, Dr. Lorenzen. Great. Well, hi, everybody. Thank you for taking the time to, to join us today. And again, thank you, Joe, for all the work you do. Um, you're, you're, uh, you, you don't know, but you've been a hero of mine for a long time. 
So I'm just grateful for, for all your hard work. And uh, yeah, if I may, I'd like to just kind of start with um, a very brief um, uh, uh, background information. I, uh, I was actually doing uh, my initial uh, uh, undergraduate studies at University of California, Berkeley. And at that time, um, uh, the Department of Biology was rated number one in the world. So it was an honor to literally learn from, from, from the best scientists uh, in every conceivable uh, specialty. And uh, after uh, I, I finished uh, my work there, I was actually an uh, instructor of biology at uh, Chapman University and actually I taught biology on a floating university program where the ship goes around the world and we teach uh, biology and life sciences. Uh, when I returned from those, that, uh, that trip, I took a job as a, uh, as a staff researcher with the Department of Pharmacology at the University of California Irvine School of Medicine, while I was also doing graduate work at California State University in vertebrate biology. And, um, and it was at that time that my wife, uh, who was very healthy, young, um, uh, just uh, basically just 32 years old, uh, a tennis player, uh, uh, just uh, the, the most vivacious, beautiful lady you could ever meet. And she contracted a, uh, what's called a mitochondrial disease. Now, uh, the mitochondria are the little energy factories in the cell. And uh, one heart cell, one cardiac cell has 5,000 mitochondria. These are critically important. Without mitochondria, you just don't survive. But if you have a mitochondrial disease, um, the, uh, the energy in the body just, uh, just literally fades away. So she went from being healthy and alive to not being able to lift her arms off the bed. And uh, that's, that's what really stimulated me to go from uh, kind of a and, and someone who is inquiring about water into full-fledged moving in that direction to try to find an answer for my wife. And, um, and why is, so, so why is, is water so important? Well, first of all, uh, there's a researcher by the name of Gerald Pollack at the University of Washington who uh, calculated that 99% of, of all molecules in the body is water. So we're a, a big bag of water, and it's not, but it's not strictly uh, how much water you have, but what, where is that water located and what is the structure? You can go to the next. So, uh, uh, and, and interestingly, uh, one of the people that stimulated my early research was a, research, a, a guy by the name of Dr. Albert Sanjorgi. And Sanjorgi won the Nobel Prize for his work with vitamin C but very few people know that the last 10 years of his life was researching water structure. And when I was searching for an answer for my wife, I found his book buried in, uh, uh, in, at, at the Yale Library. And the book's name was An Introduction, Introduction to Submolecular Biology. And that was another piece of the puzzle for me to find a way of creating stable water. Next. So um, why is it so important? Well, we know that obviously it delivers nutrients, it removes cell waste. Um, it, without water, you, we can't function at all. Um, you know that there are seeds found in the Egyptian pyramids that are dormant for thousands of years, but add a little bit of water and they come back to life. And in, in, in humans and animals, it's critically important because uh, as we age, uh, our ability to hold, retain, and utilize water correctly is really compromised. Okay. Now, the, the body contains about 75% water. Um, the brain is uh, about 80%. And, uh, and in the cells, uh, they're about 90%. So the, uh, uh, and, and not, only, not only is the amount of water in this cell system are really critical, but where it is, is critical. Um, if you're really, if you're a healthy young uh, infant, 
you know, and you've seen an infant's hands where they have little dimples on, you know, on the knuckles because they're so full of water that they have uh, cute little dimples everywhere. And, uh, uh, but as we age, as you get past the age of 35, uh, that, that water, that ability to hold water really drops off. And the reason for that is, um, is oxidative damage. As we, as we age and it's caused by ultraviolet light, by magnetic fields, by uh, poor diet, poor other things, um, the, uh, the cells are attacked and become like Swiss cheese. So the ability to hold water pressure really drops off. So in a young infant, 70% of the water is inside the cell and 30% is outside the cell. As, as, a, as a 70 year old person who has uh, a lot of health problems, that may be reversed where only 30% is inside and 70% is outside. And that's called edema. That's where congestive heart failure is precipitated. So, so obviously the objective is to switch that ratio back to where it was like when we were children. Next. And uh, are there different types of water? Well, well, obviously that was part of uh, our initial research. Yes, go ahead. Now, what we did is we, um, uh, I worked with uh, Japanese researchers for many years and we developed a uh, technique of flash freezing water in a laboratory and then photographing the crystalline structures in the upper, uh, upper left, you can see it's tap water, there's no structure, it's toxic, it's, it's you know, it, it's not healthy at all. And the, those on the left are naturally occurring waters. Now on the right, we start with distilled water, which is a cuboidal type structure. But after we run through our patented process of lights, magnets, and temperature changes, we end up from the distilled water to the microclustered water. You see there on the right. So, uh, uh, and, and now we're finding that every formulation we create uh, has literally its own signature, uh, very much like its own fingerprint. So that's where all our research is going now is trying to look at how that fingerprint relates to function. Next. So, and uh, I've worked, I'm, ha I'm having the honor now of working with a professor, Glenn Rhine, who was um, uh, a professor at Harvard University and Stanford University. And he has now joined our research team. And he's found, he's shown that bound water is what he really calls the dead water. It can't move. Um, it's uh, the mo more common water in older people. And, uh, and when, when you're, you're a healthy individual and you drink water and you're very healthy, you can convert this bound water into a healthier form of water. But uh, as, as people who are aging, our, that ability is, is lost. So we've, we've become much more prey to dysfunction. Next. So with what, what uh, Dr. Ryan and other researchers have now shown is that uh, there are two forms of water. There's bound or dead water, and then there's free or active water. And when you drink our solutions, this, this starts to mobilize uh, the water uh, in cell systems. And we've got many uh, uh, human tests, and we've done diabetes tests in 336 uh, patients in China. We've done uh, uh, tests with AIDS patients in Africa. Um, in endurance athletes with Olympic swimmers. So we have uh, literally uh, 20 years of publications to prove that our water improves cell function and recovery. Next. So why is uh, the cluster water so special? Next. The, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the, the water in young infants is virtually all 100% clustered. And uh, there's a researcher by the name of uh, Dr. Seiji Katayama at the University of Shizuoka in Japan. And he showed that literally by the time we're just in our 30s, that that biological water has dropped uh, 56%, you know, to, to 56%. And 
uh, as, as someone at the age of 58, it's, it's 23%. And that's why the ratios change. That's why most of the water in older people is outside the cell. And uh, there's, a, there's a researcher by the name of uh, Professor John Watterson at Monash University in Australia. And he wrote a, 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 a phenomenal paper saying that, that the water cluster actually creates the pressure inside the cell. Now, if you have a car and you're driving around with four flat tires or four tires with very low air pressure, uh, the car doesn't function well. Uh, it's it's actually dangerous uh, to drive a car like that. But you fill those tires up and you get a normal air pressure. Uh, the car uh, functions the way it was designed. Well, uh, one of the one of the unfortunate things about aging is that uh, our ability to to create uh, these biologically active forms of water is really challenged. So. Uh, very much like uh, vitamin C or the B vitamins or other essential amino acids. These aren't things that you can produce and make and replace. You have to supplement the diet every day by doing this. Next. So uh, why did I invent cluster water? Uh, you'll see uh, on the picture on the left is uh, uh, my three grandchildren with my wife. And uh, Penny is uh, 50, I'm sorry, 68 years old in that picture. And um, uh, I'm accused of taking my daughter out to dinner when I take her out because she looks so young and she's been consuming the water longer than any other human. And uh, keep in mind, this was a woman 30 years ago who couldn't move, who couldn't lift her arms off the bed. Now she beats me at tennis. She uh, run circles around uh, even the grandchildren. She's healthy and alive and vibrant. Uh, the, uh, the, the medical doctor, uh, our, our medical doctor at the Institute for Progressive Medicine in Irvine was so impressed with, with, with her health that he said, I have to sell this product in my, in my clinic. So he's been selling the, the cluster uh, in his medical practice for more than 10 years because he's seen the results in my wife. And just last January, uh, we went to India. We've opened plants in India and Africa. Uh, we're opening these uh, uh, these facility, these plants all over the world to not only help uh, NHT and distribution, but to create uh, waters that will help uh, people who are, are very ill with various types of diseases because it helps carry medications more effectively. Now, the original uh, stimulation for this uh, was I want to get my wife well, and she was so ill at the time that I started working on this that uh, I wanted to take her to Lourdes, France, where the uh, where the healing spring of Lourdes is very famous. But she was too ill to travel, so uh, fortunately, I found scientists from all over the world who helped me could could uh, uh, could take samples of these springs, uh, flash freeze them, and take them back. Now the the in Lourdes, the, the healing springs are world famous and uh, thousands of people drink from these springs every day and report wonderful results. But I've interviewed uh, hotel owners in the area and they said, look, if you, uh, if you drink from the source as it comes right out of the ground, this product is incredible. But if you put it in a bottle and take it back to your room, it's gone. There's no effect left. So that was an indication to me that there's something structural about this. Um, and, uh, and also, if you look in John chapter five, there's a very famous spring called the Pools of Bethesda. And uh, the story was that when the, the, when the water was stirred, the first people into the pools uh, were healed. Now, interestingly, the National Institutes of Health and all the major research hospitals for the United States government are in Maryland in a city called Bethesda. They named that city after the healing springs of Jerusalem. Next. So what is cellular hydration? Uh, it's important for all cell function. 
And uh, a Nobel Prize awarded several years ago was uh, recent, only literally in just 2005 was for understanding how water moves. I mean, if you can believe this, uh, uh, that you would think this is such a fundamental requirement for, for understanding cell function, we would have known this years ago. But you have uh, 37 trillion cells in your body and researchers at Stanford and Yale have found that the average cell may contain 2 billion water molecules. Now, uh, if it's not structured, uh, it's not going to help structure proteins and, and improve cell communication and genetic expression. So you have to make sure that water is in the ideal state for ideal cell function. So how does the, uh, uh, the cluster solution work? Well, we've shown in multiple uh, human trials that, that um, uh, particularly in people with, with uh, ph physiological disorders, that their ability to transfer fluids through those cell membranes, through those little channels are compromised. Now in an infant, you may have several, uh, you know, hundreds of these what are called aquaporin channels in every cell. And if, uh, if that cell is healthy, each one of those channels is moving 1 million water molecules per second. That's, that's how active water should be. But if you have diabetes, if you're older, if you have uh, other types of diseases, that, uh, that flood of, of fluid moving back and forth through those channels uh, actually diminishes to virtually nothing. So as a result, we build up cell waste. Uh, we can't uh, deliver nutrients properly and we can't take that waste out. And there's a material uh, that has been discovered called lipofusion. And lipofusion is to the cell what ash is to your fireplace. When you burn wood in your fireplace, uh, after it, all that, uh, everything grows cold, all you're left is with white ash. Now, uh, lipofusion is the ash uh, of metabolism in your cell, but if you're not properly hydrated, you can't remove it. Now, and, and uh, I've seen in situations where uh, someone will undergo open heart surgery and they, uh, uh, they turn a UV light on and, and turn all the lights off in the operating table and the heart glows purple because there's so much lipofusion, so much cell waste stuck in those cells uh, because the uh, lipofusion fluoresces at, at ultraviolet and ultraviolet wavelengths. Now that is something that's uh, con contributing to cell dysfunction and, uh, and a breakdown in cell communication. You've got to get rid of that. How do you do that? You have to hydrate properly every day and you've got to get uh, these water channels working again. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like, you know, uh, you have a garage, you have a, a kitchen door, but you stack all your kitchen garbage in front of the door. You can't get rid of it. You can't block that, that entrance. So the, the cluster solutions help open those water channels, help mobilize fluids. That's why it, uh, it sounds odd, but sometimes people who start with cluster X2 will, will notice that the, even their urine may have a, a strange odor to it for a few days. Well, that's not abnormal. That's actually cell waste that's been removed and you're excreting it. You're giving the body a chance to function the way it's supposed to. Next. So what is the science and technology behind cluster? The, uh, as I mentioned, there's a professor, Gerald Pollack at the University of Washington. And uh, we all know water in, in, exists in three phases. It's in liquid, it's a gas or a vapor, it's, it's clouds, and uh, it's also solid as ice. But, but uh, Professor Pollack said, no, there's actually a fourth phase. And that fourth phase is gels, uh, it, you know, very much like jello uh, in, your, um, in your dessert. Uh, the water, if it's properly charged, holds uh, structure and it gives structure to proteins and uh, DNA and other really important uh, enzymes. But 
if, um, if that uh, if those uh, cellular uh, hydration levels aren't properly uh, high enough, you can't form those gels. You can as a young infant, as a young child, but after the age of 36, you saw it's already dropped basically 50%. So, um, so it's, it's important that you utilize these solutions on a daily basis and do other things to help diminish uh, cell damage. Um, recent research has just come out that something that's very common in all of our lives uh, may be contributing to cell water breakdown. And I hate to tell you this, but it's the uh, cell phone. And uh, I will be posting uh, a written article about uh, how cell phones uh, may be contributing to dehydration and, and cell water damage. This has been published at Harvard University. So it's highly reputable, highly uh, respected research and uh and it's one reason now that uh, whenever i speak on the cell phone i try to use only the speaker uh, uh, format not hold it in my hand and try to keep it as far away from me as possible so uh, i'll be disclosing more research on that in the in the coming months next so so we've uh, i've been awarded three united states patents on on the process and uh uh, it, kind of like uh, uh, a lot of researchers, you find out a, a lot of what doesn't work before you find out what does work. And uh, so I've had the help of physicists, uh, biochemists, other scientists from all over. I've asked a lot of questions and I've received a lot of guidance. So um, this isn't uh, strictly uh, a one, one man show, this is, this is a result of many years of, of help by many scientists who uh, really believed in what we were trying to do and have, and have helped guide us and get us to where we are now. Next. So this treatment process, basically what we do is it's very much similar to what actually happens in the clouds, but we, we amplify the energies many, many thousands of times. Um, we take distilled water um, and uh, while it's in a gaseous phase, it's exposed to very strong electromagnetic fields. Um, for example, the earth has uh, a magnetic field of, uh, of three gauss, right? This is a magnetic strength. We're using 19,000 gauss. And this is all in, in our patents. And uh, so, uh, so we've learned how to process and treat these solutions and then stabilize them with trace minerals so that the water mimics what has been found in healing springs but rather than lasting only minutes we're finding it's lasting years and that's why we can now make this product here in laboratories in california and ship it to you wherever you are uh, with the assurance that you're getting a highly effective product next so uh, as I mentioned, I've been awarded three US patents um, and uh, we now have more pending. And uh, uh, Professor Ryan, who I mentioned from Stanford University, uh, uh, gave a paper to the International Congress on the Physics, Biology and Chemistry of Water that was held in Bulgaria last October. And uh, uh, he's now joined our team and we're finding new ways uh, to make these products even stronger, even more effective. And of course, NHT will be the recipient of, of every bit of research that we're, we're developing because um, you know our goal is to make sure that you and your family uh, uh, have the best capacity to maintain your health. Uh, and our, now, what about clinical studies? We've been actually doing uh, uh, a lot of studies for many years. Uh, the largest study we did, which was published in the Asia Pacific Journal of Clinical Nutrition, uh, was actually also published by PubMed, which is the National Library of Medicine in Washington, D.C. So this um, was, uh, was reviewed and accepted by many scientists. This was published uh, also in the Science and Technology Daily, the most respected technology and science journal in China and uh, signed off by the head of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. 
And what we did in this study, we basically gave uh, two types of water, either purified water or our water, to 336 diabetic patients. And uh, we tracked what happened to their health. And in a matter of six weeks, uh, the, the improvements were very, very significant. And that gave us the, uh, the proof that just structuring the water alone would really improve health. But now when you add other important nutrients to that, it makes those nutrients work even better. Next. Um, also, in, in another study, we, um, uh, we had noticed that, um, that, uh, that athletes would, would come and buy the product from us and say, gee, you know, I, uh, I, I feel better when I drink this, I recover uh, faster, and I don't have the muscle soreness. So, uh, and we've, uh, my wife and I have actually uh, donated and supplied uh, U.S. Olympic swimming athletes with the product since 1999. And although I can't mention a lot of their names, we do have videos that we can show when, uh, when you come to some of our, uh, our live presentations. But uh, to prove that this worked, um, <coughs> we, um, we actually gave mice uh, uh, either regular water uh, or the cluster for a 30 day period and then we'd put them in a bath to swim. And uh, mice are very good swimmers, but you know, any animal or any human gets tired after a while. And uh, the mouse that drank regular water, they can only swim for 16 minutes. And then they got so tired, they, they gave up and we had to pull them out of the tank. And uh, they're fine and they recovered quickly. But uh, if they drank the water, they, they, they didn't swim for 16 minutes, they swam for 38 minutes. So this was an indication as to why U.S. Olympic swimmers were doing so well. Next. So that, uh, so uh, as, as far as any other ingredients, what we're finding is uh, the water uh, not only helps cell function, but it also helps you absorb more effectively. As a matter of fact, on our labels uh, that we that we uh, we manufacture for just uh, plain cluster water use, um, we submitted all that information to the Food and Drug Administration, and uh, they allow us to make claims saying that that our water uh, improves metabolic efficiency, improves nutrient absorption and promote cell water recovery. Uh, and we're the only wa water in the United States that are allowed to make those claims. Now, in addition to that, we've added uh, other uh, important uh, ingredients uh, to the Cluster X2, uh, which is pomegranate, uh, a very well-known antioxidant, uh, cranberry, which really helps improve uh, cell function, particularly for urinary uh, function, and a grapeseed extract. And uh, this, uh, this uh, grapeseed extract has a very high concentration of a compound called resveratrol. And resveratrol has really been established as, as an anti-aging molecule. As a matter of fact, the uh, uh, research has uh, been done in France for many years and they've called it uh, the French paradox. And here, the French eat very high levels of of fat, a lot of cheese, but they have some of the uh, best health in the world. And uh, if, if those French people were drinking white wine, they had the same unhealthy characteristics and statistics as Americans. But if they're drinking red wine, they were very, very healthy, even though they were eating high fat diet, which is, which is completely against what uh, a lot of uh, researchers have shown. And they said, well, what is the answer? Why are the French so healthy? And it's because they're drinking red wine. And the, and the active ingredient in red wine is in the, is in the seed uh, and the skin of the grapes. And it's called resveratrol. And we have uh, a very high concentration of concentrated grapeseed extract, and that's part of what you're using every day. And even though the dose is very small, 
it's very powerful. So what are the key benefits? Um, we've, the F Food and Drug Administration has said that we, we, can, allow, we, can, we can legally claim that, uh, that the Cluster X2 delivers nutrients more effectively, increases cell hydration, improves cell function, and promotes cell waste removal and elimination of toxin, and of course, helps uh, change that ratio, increase the amount of water inside the cell so that we can function like we did when we were younger. So how do you, how do you use the product? Um, it's very simple. The, um, uh, here in the United States, what we, we, can, we can purchase distilled water very inexpensively. So what, what I do in, in my own house is we add um, uh, 30 cc's uh, or two tablespoons of cluster X2 into one gallon of distilled water and then keep it at the refrigerator, and and I uh, I drink uh, at least three glasses, three cups a day of that, and um, so that so one one four ounce bottle is going to make four gallons of beverage. So it uh, it's highly active, highly biologically potentized, and it will last uh, for. Uh, uh, in the refrigerator for uh, for a very long period of time. Once the, the four ounce bottle is open, we ask that you keep it in the refrigerator and uh, uh, to, to make sure it's kept fresh. But uh, it's uh, we, we've shown uh, the product is highly safe, highly effective, and uh, you need to use it consistently every day. And um, what I recommend is uh, take the uh, uh, take the stem renew. Uh, take the noni, uh, especially with those those two other products, um, it really has some some uh, complementary effects. But um, uh, as a nutrient carrier and delivery system, it makes uh, whatever product you're using work even better. So that's why it's become really so important to the health of uh, me, my wife, my children, and my grandchildren. And Dr. Lorenzo, just quickly. Uh because we have an international crowd here. Uh, one gallon is about four liters of, of water, just, just for everyone to understand. Right, it's a, a three point, yeah, 3.8 liters, correct. Yeah, approximately, yeah. I typically, uh, just to make it easier, I take six of the capfuls and I pour it into uh, uh, a gallon or, or four liters of distilled water. Yeah, perfect, yep. Which is about two tablespoons. The other thing, um, just, just on this slide here, um, and this is one of the questions I was going to ask afterwards, why is it important to use distilled water or reverse osmosis water? Well, what we've, what we've done, and, and Joe, you might remember even back to 1995 that we would uh, uh, we'd say, okay, we'll just put it in, uh, in, a, in a purified water and it would work fine. But we, that, but we found that if people put it in the spring water, that the minerals uh, in that spring water might interfere with the biological activity. So, to uh, to make sure that uh, that the uh, the effectiveness was there, we found it, it should be just really purified, either reverse osmosis water or distilled water. And uh, uh, interestingly, in that in that Chinese study with diabetics, we gave those Chinese. Um, uh, patients, you know, distilled water as the placebo, and uh, they got worse. But if you add the cluster to that distilled water, a refrigerated overnight, then give that to the diabetics, they got better. So obviously, there's a change in the in the uh, molecular activity of the product that's being uh, achieved, and we have clinical evidence to prove that. Yeah. So on a global basis, Dr. Lorenzen, there. Are distilled water is not readily available as it is in North America. So uh, I know in Peru, when we were down there, there was a mineral count uh, that was good for cluster X2, correct? There was... Right, there. right. So the, um, yeah, uh, Dr. Carrillo was there to, to lecture with us from, he's a pediatrician from Mexico City, and he brought a conductivity meter 
uh, with him and he we tested a number of different waters and found that uh, the best type of water was the one that had the lowest mineral content, usually um, uh, less than uh, 30 milligrams per liter. Uh, some spring waters can be very high, you know, like 400 milligrams per liter or more. And uh, we just don't get the same good effect that we do with low mineral. So, uh, so we really request that, uh, that the product itself works very well, but what you dilute it into is really, really important. So in, uh, in, in China, that, uh, we, we found that Watson's uh, distilled water uh, was very good. And uh, there, are, uh, so just, just become a label reader, look at, you know, buy a purified water uh, in your store and uh, it'll, it'll give the, the fit, the, how many milligrams of total dissolved solids there are per liter and try to find something that's, uh, that's 50 milligrams or less. And that will ensure that the cluster X2 is working better. Great. So as far as, um, uh, as, far as testimonials, um, uh, we literally have thousands of, of written testimonies from all over the world. And of course, testimonies are, are, are wonderful to hear, um, uh, but they're not scientific. So that's why we, uh, after hearing so many wonderful testimonies, we decided to spend the money where it was really important. And that is to, to actually prove the science and establish it using uh, normal scientific procedures. But um, the, uh, uh, I'm, uh, one, one wonderful testimony I, I have, uh, I, I like to think about is a, um, is a gentleman in Shanghai who, uh, uh, who had very severe uh, arthritis. And keep in mind that inflammation is uh, a lot of that can be uh, resolved just by better hydration. But, but this gentleman had been uh, in, in a lot of pain for many years and didn't really want to want to live I and mean, he was he was in so much pain and went on the product and, and, and it, it took a couple of months but in two months he was uh, starting to move around and in six months he was out riding a bicycle and he wrote a letter to me in Chinese which uh, a friend translated for me and uh, basically how just hydrating uh, improved the quality of his life and um, and uh, this has been uh, this type of thing has been over uh, heard over and over again. Is that um, according to, to uh, Professor Ryan from Stanford University, uh, seventy percent of the world popu adult population is most likely fairly seriously dehydrated, and we think that well, you know, you drink eight glasses of water a day, um, that's enough. Well. There's really no scientific basis for that. You know, you can, if you if you drink three glasses of cluster, that may be better than eight or ten bottles of of, of water that has no structure or function at all. So, um, so it's it's really important that you try to get a bare minimum of cluster in every day. Take your noni, take your, you know, a stem renew, take other products that that really help. Uh, improve uh, anti-aging such as antioxidants and, and uh, you know you're, uh, you, you know what it takes to, uh, 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 to maintain better health. I mean there was some research done actually in Hong Kong, at Hong Kong University that a person who drank six cups of green tea a day actually extended their life uh, statistically by seven years. Just with just with a few glasses of, of green tea every day. So um, uh, one of very close friends of mine, Professor Z Wang from Columbia University, um, uh, told me that bit of information. So I I drink green tea uh, every day uh, as well as my cluster. So uh, I'm doing everything I can to help maintain my own health. And uh, uh, the, the research is there. So um, and and if you have testimonies, if you uh, if you can share what what these products have done to improve your health 
and, and your lifestyle and all that, please share that with your upline, share that with the company. We'd love to hear that we're doing the right job for you. Well, that was unbelievably awesome. You know, uh, you got better every event that we did in Peru, and you got better today, Dr. Lorenzen. Yeah. Well, well Joe, Joe, I watched your presentations for a week, and I'm going, man, this guy is good. I better learn from, from what he's doing. So so you, you become my sensei <laughs> on, <laughs> on how to present. So thank you for teaching me. So. Oh, thank you. I've got a couple of questions here. Uh, just to encapsulate your presentation, uh, uh, how easy I explain the product is it's like driving a Ferrari, right? So if you get in your your basic car and then you go and drive a Ferrari, that Ferrari obviously will get to the destination much faster than the basic car. So when you're okay. taking clustered water with the NHT Global Nutritionals and products, you're you're going to get there much faster. It's like driving okay. a Ferrari. Uh, the second thing, just a little tip for all of you is a, a lot of people comment uh, on my uh, lack of aging. You know, it's people that haven't haven't seen me in 10 or 15 years. They said, Joe, you're always looking the same. So one of the things I've been doing with Cluster X2 is I've been washing my face with cluster mm -hmm. water. So you imagine what it's doing to your cells inside. Uh, you splash some water on your face. Uh, the Cluster X2 and its um, in incredible anti-aging properties there. Uh, correct, Dr. Lorenzen? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah, it's, as a matter of fact, um, the uh, the pomegranate cranberry and grapeseed, uh, th this wasn't just a, a random selection. This was uh, based on a lot of research of <laughs> what are three of the most powerful complementary uh, foods that are on the market that are needed every day by by everyone and you know the there um, uh, one of the things that that we all confront or have to confront every day are, are what are called free radical attacks and uh, uh, I did my undergrad at Berkeley so that doesn't mean I'm a free radical but um, the uh, a radical is is a highly charged a particle with an electron and with an extra negative charge. And what it does, it loves to attack the cell membrane of every cell. And uh, there's a research at University of California, Berkeley, who did some calculations on that and said, if you're a healthy 25 year old man that doesn't smoke, you eat good foods, you're exercising every day, you have over 10,000 free radical attacks per cell per day. So, so we are inundated with these free radical attacks. And what happens uh, over years of exposure to smog, exposure to cell phones, exposure to electromagnetic fields and, and uh, microwaves and other, other things and, and you know, poor fats and the diet and other things, uh, that those membranes are weakened to the point where, uh, you know, you wouldn't think of, of poking uh, a thousand little holes in, in a, in a uh, 20 liter bucket of water. Um, you know, you can keep filling that bucket up, but it's going to leak out. And that's what happens literally as a kind of a picture of what happens in an older cell. So what you have to do is uh, give that cell the ability to help pump that water back in. So, um, uh, and, I'm, and I'm sure, Joe, you know, you've, you've had a flat tire and you, uh, uh, and you, and to sometimes to get to the gas station, you, you use those uh, fat, those, uh, those uh, flat fix things that inject a material in there and it kind of goes to the, the hole and plugs it up so you can at least get to a, a point where uh, that, that tire can be repaired. Well, the, the, uh, these antioxidants help slow down those free radical attacks and help promote repair of those cell membranes. So uh, that's why this in conjunction with the other NHT products is such a key component to longevity, 
health and, and good functioning. So uh, um, I, I hope that all of you will get on the full NHT program and don't take our word for it, just, but give it time. You'll see in, in 60 or 90 days how uh, your health has changed. Okay, so I have a couple questions and we'll end the webinar then, okay? So sure. second, sec, uh, first question, um, if help, Cluster X2 helps you get whatever you're taking into your cells faster than your body can, does that mean that if you're drinking alcohol or smoking, would Cluster X2 also bring the bad toxins to your cells? Yeah, well, as far as smoking, um, interestingly, we've actually shown that, uh, that it actually helped the lungs expel uh, the waste from, from the lung tissue. So that was positive. Now, with alcohol, that is true, that it, it will actually enhance alcohol absorption. So uh, the, we recommend you drink the Cluster X2 on an empty stomach. Um, do not take any medication or any alcohol with that for at least... 30 minutes after you, after you take it. And this was actually based on recommendations from the Food and Drug Administration, because they said this will, it's, this will amplify absorption. And, um, and we, we don't want any medications you're taking to, to, um, uh, to be amplified. They, they should be taken as directed. So take the ideal way is to drink this on an empty stomach and wait 30 minutes, then, then take your medication. Uh, as well. Great. The last question, why, why does uh, metal interfere with cluster X too? Well, keep in mind that the, um, we're, we're using, uh, we make the water very much like a trickle charger charges your cell phone battery. You know, it's a, it's a small amount of electric current, but it takes many hours to build the electrical charge in, in the cluster X too. And, um, and if you're, uh, holding a metal spoon, and then you pour that cluster X2 in the metal spoon, um, and you're grounded, guess where the energy goes? It goes into the ground. It, it destructures the cluster immediately. So by, a, by using a plastic spoon, you're maintaining that, that potential that is needed to help um, change the water uh, uh, as, as a result. So that's why that's so important. Okay, and uh, I'm I'm no, known as the one more thing guy, Dr. Lorenzo. <laughs> Just one question. Uh, can, uh, got some questions coming in. Can it be stored in glass container? Or does yeah, it actually, uh, uh, you know, I uh, I still just use the plastic bottles I get at the store, but. Ideally, uh, glass is even better. So you can do that, but just make sure that if you're, if you're using that glass bottle that after you finish it every time, you know, pour, uh, put some, uh, you know, boil that, that bottle and sterilize it, keep it clean if you're gonna keep reusing it. So just make sure you keep that bottle clean, but no, a, a glass is even better. That's, do you have to boil the plastic too or no? No, no. Well, the use of the plastic is kind of a one-use thing, and then I put it in the recycle bin, and uh, and then uh, and then and then add to a new new gallon. So, um, but uh, but if you have your own distiller um, or your own like you know, like let's say with the NHT water purifier, um, you can you can purify water into that glass container and then add the concentrate and then keep it refrigerated. But just make sure you you really keep that glass container, you know, clean. Don't keep using it over and over again. It, it needs to be kept, you know, kept clean as, yeah. as possible. And can it be mixed and drink right away? Or does it have to be refrigerated? Uh, it, uh, you'll still derive some benefit, but what we did is part of the patent, um, we found that, uh, that these healing springs had a signature was uh, was called a, a, a 65 hertz signature, and that's why the U.S. Patent Office awarded the patents that we were we we're the ones that discovered that. But for that 65 hertz <coughs> signal uh, to be generated, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, ideally, putting it 
uh, in, a, in a gallon of water, refrigerating overnight, and then shaking it, now, now you're assured that you've got you know, fully potent product to use. And last question, I promise. <laughs> can, the <laughs> no. water, can the water be mixed with other things and still work, like green, like green tea, smoothies, that kind of thing? Yeah, the um, uh, well, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, um, when I um, uh, actually when I make uh, my protein drinks in the morning, I'll I'll use the cluster X two in the gallon and, and add it to protein. But you, you don't want to mix it all because you don't want a lot of oxygen destroying it, right? But yeah. if you put it in for a few seconds and uh, mix it, that works just fine. Uh, the other thing is temperature. Um, you, the, uh, uh, you can't heat this to very high temperatures. So any temperature above 50 degrees centigrade and it, it pretty much wipes out the product. So it can't be added to hot coffee or hot tea. But um, if, you, uh, uh, if you know that, if you are drinking cold tea or, or something like that, you can add that to it, um, that, that water or even make your tea with, like if it's a cold brew, you could you can use a cluster X2 as your base water to make other beverages. Just be, just be sure to keep it below 50 degrees centigrade. Okay, and just one one last thing here. Going back to the um, using a reusable glass container or a plastic, why is it important to to wash them afterwards or or throw away the plastic? Well, with with the plastic, it, it's it's fairly easy, you know, with, especially in California, where you know we just we throw in our recycled bin and we know it gets recycled, and um, and with and glass is uh, is really better. It's uh, it's it's even more ideal. Um, but you know, keep in mind this is a nutrient rich um, product. So um, even in the best of circumstances, you're going to get um, you're going to get uh, uh, bacteria or other things in there that uh, that might might affect uh, the product if, the, if that bacteria isn't removed and um, so that's why it's just it's just a, a good idea to to um, put really hot water in that gallon and uh, and just to sterilize it before you use it again it's just uh, this is a safety precaution awesome you've been absolutely fantastic today thanks very much for joining us Ladies and gentlemen, this webinar has been recorded. So I would recommend every morning, my regimen is I, I, when I get up in the morning, this is when you're most dehydrated. And the reason, how you can tell that you're dry, dehydrated is by your urine. Is your urine is really yellow, that means that you're really dehydrated. So in the morning, I take, I uh, go into the fridge, pour uh, a glass of water, eight ounces to 10 ounces. I Before I do that, I shake. The bottle that I have the clustered water in the water, I shake it so it activates the clusters. I put it, pour it into my glass, and I drink that glass with my stem renew, and I also take a noni just after that. So it's it's real important. Uh, that's what I've done for now what uh, twenty three years. <laughs> it's amazing, uh, and taking cluster X number two when you're mixing it. Uh, quite easy. What I tell my customers is take six capfuls and you mix it into distilled or reverse osmosis water, four liters or a gallon of, uh, of water. So, and then you refrigerate it, shake it up every time you're going to drink it. And uh, also, you know, after lunch, Dr. Lorenzen, on a couple of hours afterwards, people normally have that, you know, that sugar, uh, the sugar just yeah. drops, right? And that's also a really good time to drink the water and then just before dinner. That way you're hydrated all day long. I always like to tell people for hydration purposes, one glass of clustered water is like drinking a minimum of 12 glasses of uh, water for hydration. So thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. Again, thank you very much, Dr. Lorenzen, for joining us and uh, sharing your wisdom and you've got a incredible technology here, and we're grateful that uh, it's in the NHT Global product line. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care. Okay, thank you.